Thanks, Rick. Thanks for all the fantastic presentations today and Neil, uh, great entry uh, to uh, our campaign. Uh, the Institute for Local Self-Reliance has been a key player in the Recycling Infrastructure 2 campaign. We formed this last spring uh, to uh, build on the uh, increasing interest in folk investing in uh, infrastructure around the country, but there wasn't talk about, uh, a lot of talk uh, publicly particularly, about uh, how recycling, waste reduction, reuse, recycling, composting uh, fit in with that. So um, NRC, uh, joined together with ILSR and Zero Waste USA uh, to um, uh, form this campaign. We've got a number of other groups uh, to sign on. We've formed a Google group if you want more information. Recycling infrastructure at googlegroups.com is where to sign up to get regular information about what we're doing. Um, one of the most significant things we've done is develop the American Recycling Infrastructure Plan. Uh, Bob Getter, at National Recycling Coalition, was the lead author on that. Uh, he's NRC's president. It was released by the campaign July 15th uh, last year. It's got 50 initiatives with uh, calling for an investment of 18 billion dollars over three years for uh, reduced, reuse, recycling, and composting initiatives. Luckily, uh, uh, there have been other groups advocating for uh, recycling, waste reduction, reuse, and uh, composting in the uh, infrastructure bills and the Bipartisan Invest Act uh, that was adopted <clears throat> last uh, summer. Uh, the $1.2 trillion included um, over $300 million for a variety of uh, initiatives, including the uh, Save Our Seas Act implementation uh, with recycling grants uh, and trash-free water grants, and uh, an additional uh, funding uh, for EPA to uh, uh, provide recycling education outreach to state, local governments, tribes, nonprofits, and public-private partnerships. That also included up to $3 billion for battery manufacturing and recycling grants and battery, another $3 billion for battery research and development in recognition of the opportunities uh, ahead with more and more uh, batteries and electric vehicles, but the problems uh, with the batteries causing fires and burning down all of our infrastructure, uh, including our rolling stock and our collection vehicles and our um, uh, processing facilities uh, and landfills are being burned by many uh, uh, battery problems. Uh, it also included funding for Brownfields reauthorization and Superfund. Um, the Build Back Better uh, budget reconciliation bill um, last was uh, pegged at about 1.9 trillion. At this point, um, it doesn't look uh, like that's moving forward as a totality. It did include $750 million in grants uh, for uh, recycling, so uh, was uh, going to be helpful as well for this effort. Um, right now, they're looking at uh, splitting that up into multiple bills and uh, how that will all be configured and where uh, uh, waste reduction, reuse, recycling, and composting fit in uh, remains to be seen. Uh, our campaign keeps working with other groups that have lobbyists in uh, D.C. that are working uh, to advocate for our initiatives, and hopefully uh, uh, it'll be showing up in different acts. Uh, there are already different acts that have been proposed, including the Compost Act that includes $2 billion dollars. Uh, for a range of composting facilities and programs. The Zero Food Waste Act has planning reduction and measurement grants, and the Break Free from Plastic Pollution Act has grants for reuse refill pilots uh, and a national bottle bill, which Neil highlighted uh, is being split off as a separate uh, bill uh, uh, coming up. Um, one of the key tools we've been using to keep everyone informed and thinking about uh, recycling as infrastructure too uh, are the monthly webinars we've been organizing. Upcoming ones are on funding recycling via wasting surcharges, highlighting Institute for Local Self-Reliance, latest research on what state and local governments have done to uh, adopt uh, 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 fees on, on landfilling and um, incineration to fund their uh, recycling initiatives. In March, we'll be looking at how and when to apply for federal funds, not just the infrastructure funds, which are going to take another uh, uh, six months or more uh, to be um, uh, rolled out and implemented, uh, but other existing federal funding in the current uh, president's uh, budget 
uh, that uh, are available and are being researched right now by the National Recycling Coalition. On April 5th, uh, we'll be highlighting resource recovery parks as a key vehicle for um, where to locate uh, the new investments and in, in different types of processing facilities for reuse, recycling, composting, and digestion uh, in one location. Um, the campaign also asks you to help by contacting your U.S. Senator and Congressperson uh, to give them the message that recycling is infrastructure too and that all infrastructure projects should include as eligible activities the use of reuse systems, recycled content, and compost products, and that would expand the demand for our re um, recycling and reuse and uh, composting services uh, if that message was included in the regulations that will be next um, uh, coming um, to implement the, the bills that have been adopted. Uh, I do want to highlight the upcoming conferences where um, uh, these issues have been addressed uh, recently uh, in last year's uh, version of these conferences. Uh, the National Recycling Congress is being organized right now by the NRC for November of 2022, dates to be determined, and the National Zero Waste Conference is uh, set for December 1 to 2 in 2022. Um, I always close my presentations with, if you're not for zero waste, how much waste are you for? I, I, I'd like to ha ask everyone to unmute if you can and uh, answer the question, how much waste are you for? Zero. Zero. Oh. Zero. Okay. Okay. Zero. 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 Zero.